Many electronic products have this battery holder. It's kind of an inexpensive thing. It's soldered to the board and they're used, the battery is used to light an LCD display or to maintain memory or something like that. And you simply slide the battery in here uh, and you know maybe it doesn't work so you take the battery out you flip it over you put it back in it still doesn't work um, yeah I bought four of these and that was a problem it was kind of intermittent I would put the battery in there and sometimes it would work sometimes it wouldn't I'd wiggle the battery around um, and I didn't have that problem when I use these older batteries but the difference was this new battery our new batteries have a dimpled surface and the old ones had a smooth surface so yeah that was that was a hint so um there is a simple fix there's room for improvement on these holders but there's a simple fix for the problem and we'll go remove this upper surface i will show you the problem and then that simple fix as you can see the clip is removed and right there that is supposed to be the contact on the bottom now let's see if I can see this on camera you'll notice that it's almost flush with the surface of the board that means unless the battery is kind of arced down it won't touch that pad and also we can see there's tracings underneath here and they don't go anywhere if you look on the other side yeah, they don't go anywhere. There's a chip there. It appears that these got um, coated and they're not supposed to be coated. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to scrape these off and then I'm going to apply some solder on there. So let me do that. Okay. And there we can see the bare copper. And now I will apply some solder over that. The solder adds thickness and raises the contact point above the board coating. And it gives it just, there's more area for the battery to come in contact. So just, you know, sheer probability, the battery's gonna touch that more easily. So, okay, now all we have left to do is replace this. In this case, I will finish up by soldering in the pin headers and then I will place the battery and all will be good. Yes, a much tighter fit. Okay, well that was it for fixing these, these uh, button type battery holders that uh, may not have a good contact. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home electronic projects.